In this video, I will show you the most common questions that Carnival Cruise Lines like to ask in their interviews and help you plan strong, confident answers to these that will help you get the job. So let's look at how do you actually pass an interview at Carnival Cruise Lines. And the first thing you need to do is get the basics right. So show up on time and dress for the occasion. And by that, I mean dressing formally to show that you take the interview seriously. The next thing is make sure you have studied Carnival Cruise Lines. They expect you to have knowledge of the cruise line. If you don't, it's going to hurt you. So I'm going to help you do that in this video by giving you the key facts that you need to know about the cruise line. Then make sure you have studied the requirements for your role and you actually show them that you meet them. So look at the job description, look at the job advert and in the interview show that you actually meet what they're looking for because that is what they're assessing you on. The next thing, remember it's a job and not a holiday. Recruiters at Carnival absolutely hate people talking about that this is a great opportunity to see the world and they'd like to go traveling. This is not what they're looking for. It is a difficult job with long hours and you need to understand that it is not a holiday, you're applying for a job. The next thing you need to do is know the questions that Carnival most commonly ask. And I will show you the questions that come up most frequently in this video. And then more importantly, have answers ready and prepared for those. And by the end of the video, you will have strong, confident answers to the most common questions and it will make such a difference to your success at interview. So let's look at an extremely important question, which is what do you know about Carnival? And remember, they expect you to turn up with knowledge. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you know the key facts, and I will tell you the key facts. Then you need to show that you have taken time to prepare, and I will help you do that preparation. And then you want to exceed expectations. You want to drop in some facts that only people that have taken a lot of time to prepare would actually know. So let's look at some key facts that you can take to your interview. So the first thing you can say is very simple. Carnival is an international cruise line. Then you can say that they are part of the Carnival Corporation and PLC, that is the business that owns Carnival. There's Carnival Cruise Line, which is one cruise line brand, but then you've got Carnival Corporation, which owns lots of brands, for example, Cunard, P&O, Costa, um, New Holland, and lots and lots and lots of other lines are owned by Carnival Cruise Lines, and you need to be aware of that. The Carnival brand itself is affordable. It's got broad appeal. It is family friendly. So on a Carnival ship, you will see lots of children. You also have a very fun environment. The Carnival brand is based around fun. They welcome millions and millions of guests every single year on their ships. Currently, they are the world's largest or the world's second largest. They are competing with Royal Caribbean. So you need to know where they are ranking. Sometimes they're the world's largest. And this is Carnival, not all of the Carnival brands, just the Carnival Cruise Line. They sometimes are the biggest, sometimes the second largest. So make sure you know what, where they are at the time of your interview. They have an American market focus. The majority of the Carnival Cruise Line ships depart from um, America. So you need to be aware of that. They are very famous for their very iconic funnel. So if you look at the ships, the first thing you notice is the large iconic funnel and they've had that on their logo for a long time. You need to know their largest ships. So a good idea is to look up Carnival ships and learn the names of maybe the top three largest ships and have that in your memory. They were founded all the way back in 1972 by Ted Arison. And they made a star in the Canadian Pacific Line. That's where they actually got their first ship from, which was called the Mardi Gras. And before that, when it was part of the Canadian Pacific Line, it was the RMS Empress of Canada. That is a really nice fact to take to your interview. The company has also provided a lot of charity support. So it's a good idea to look up what their current fundraising is and some of their charitable achievements. And you can talk positively about that in the interview. My other top tip is reading the Carnival Corporation's annual report, just having a flick through it, not reading every single word, just skimming over it, say in your interview that you've read this and you will get a really great idea of their current strategy, what they're focusing on, and it will explain a lot about how the company actually works. And that's really good reading. And so what I'd recommend is you take some notes from this or you screenshot this or try and remember as many of these facts as you can, and then you'll be ready and well prepared for the start of your interview. The next question I want to look at is what would you do if you saw someone not following safety procedures? And this is a very common question and there is a right answer and there is a wrong answer. So what they want you to say, firstly, is that I have a duty of care to all passengers and crew. Say that you take it seriously. If you're a member of the crew, safety is something that is your responsibility. That's not just for the captain. That's not just for the senior people. 
every single person on that ship is responsible for safety to some extent. Then you say, I take safety incredibly seriously. So you haven't even started answering what you're going to do. People jump in and say what they're going to do. What you need to do is start by saying that you've got the right values, that you're worried about the right things. You have to be very clear that safety is incredibly important because that's what they want to hear. Then you say that failure to follow safety procedures can cause serious harm. If you don't follow these procedures, people can die. It's that serious. People have been operating cruise ships and ships for a very long time. And these safety procedures are very well thought out and they're there for a reason. They must be followed. Then what you say is, I would never ignore a safety breach. I would intervene to ensure everyone's safety. So throughout the answer, you are being very clear that safety gets taken seriously. Remember that the person interviewing you is going to be taking notes. And can you imagine if they hired someone that gave a bad answer to a safety question and they let them work on their cruise line having shown that they don't understand safety? It's important to get this right. And then the next thing you say is I would then report the incident in line with company policy. So you're being very clear that safety is important, that you're never ignoring it, and that it's being reported and you're following the company's procedures and policies. That is how you ace this question. So remember that, and that's how you get through this question. The next one that they quite like is what is your greatest strength? And if you've thought about it and you've got one ready to go, this is a very easy question, but you have to think about it. So the element of a good answer is it should be a significant strength. It shouldn't be something minor that's a little bit helpful. It should actually be a significant, important strength. The next thing is it should be evidence. So you want to have an example or something to back it up to make it a little bit stronger. It should be relevant. So think about the job that you're applying for. What is the most important thing for doing that job well? And of course, you've got to prove that you're a great hire for Carnival. So I'll give you some suggestions, but do think about your role. Do think about exactly what you're applying for and make sure that you tailor your answer to match that. When you do answer it, simple way is you say, I would say that one of my greatest strengths is say what the strength is. Then in the past, I've demonstrated this strength by, and then tell them a time that you use that strength or an example, or maybe you've got a qualification or a certificate. That's really good evidence. And then you say at Carnival, this strength will, and just say a sentence about how this strength is going to make you so much better. You're explaining that you've got this strength and this is going to make you a great employee. So some ideas of what you might say is that you've got lots of customer service experience, if you've worked on cruise ships for a long time, talk about your experience because you'll have learned a lot from that. If you've got a really good work ethic, that's important. On cruise lines, the hours are very long, so having a good work ethic is important. Or maybe you've got really great attention to detail and that helps you do your job really well. There are some examples, but do try and tailor it as best you can to your role and pick which is going to be most important. So have a strength ready to go. And if you've thought about it before the interview, it's a lot easier to answer when you've got your strength in mind rather than trying to make one up on the day. The opposite one is what is your biggest weakness? And again, it's good to have a weakness thought out. And I'll give you some ideas of what you should say and what you shouldn't say. So for a good answer, you need to show you know what to develop. They don't want you to say you don't have a weakness. They want you to actually talk about actually having a weakness and what you're doing about it. You definitely need to pick a real weakness. So saying things like I'm a perfectionist is not good enough. Then you need to do something about it. Spend the time in the interview talking about what you can do about the weakness. So you could go on a course, you could try doing some learning, that you could do some online learning, that you will learn throughout the job, that you may do some shadowing, you may do some mentoring, you may over time develop the skill. You don't need this particular thing right now, but in future, this is something you have on your radar and you think is very important to develop. But very importantly, make sure it's not important for your carnival role. So think about the job and pick a weakness that really isn't going to make very much difference to being good at that job. So I'm way too much of a perfectionist is one of the worst answers. And I smell so bad that customers constantly submit formal complaints would be even worse because that's essential to the job is you know, not generating huge volumes of complaints. So if you pick something that's important to the job, it will hurt your chances. So pick something that isn't really going to make very much difference. The way that you answer it is very simple. You say a weakness I'm aware of is, say the weakness, say nothing else. Stop at the end of that sentence once you said the weakness and don't talk about the weakness anymore. Then you go on and say, 
I've been working on this buy or I plan to work on this buy and talk about what you could do to overcome the weakness and how you're going to get better at that while you're working carnival. Some ideas is you may not be great at spelling, but you may have a job that involves very little writing. You may only speak English, which is a weakness, but it's a weakness that perhaps a large number of people will have. And the vast majority in the carnival brand will be American. So it's probably not an enormous problem. But of course, it would be great if you could speak other languages and there'll be great opportunities to learn that while working on a cruise ship. If you are not in management, you may talk about delegation because you're not probably going to be doing very much delegation. Public speaking, you're probably not going to be giving large speeches to thousands of people very often or if ever. So you could talk about that as a weakness. If you're not great at saying no and you always try your best to please, that's not a terrible thing, but it can be a weakness as well. If you've got a job that doesn't involve any math, but you're not great at math, then you could talk about that. And it's very easy to talk about how you can overcome that. So the, that's how you do the greatest weakness question and make sure you've decided on it before your interview so you're ready for the question rather than trying to desperately think something up on the spot and coming up with a wrong answer. The next question is, why do you want to work for Carnival Cruise Lines? And I can't tell you exactly why you personally want to work there, but I can give you lots of suggestions. So we'll look at what your answer should include and I'm going to give you lots of phrases that you can piece together to develop an answer that works for you. So one thing to think about is Carnival. Is this the right brand for you? And if it is, which it should be, because you're applying for the job, why is Carnival the right one? Why are you not applying for Cunard? Why are you not applying to P&O? Why is Carnival the best brand for you? And show that it is. Talk about it being a great match for your skills. Link the Carnival Cruise Line job to what you're good at, because one, you're showing your motivation and also you are showing that this is the right job for you because it matches your skills and you're convincing them that you can do the job really well. Then talk about it being a match for your previous experience. Link what you've done in the past to what you're going to be doing at Carnival and you're showing not only is this the right job for you, but you'll be good at it because you've got the experience. Then you could talk about growth and progression opportunities. Remember, it's an enormous ship. There's a lot of people on this ship and there's lots and lots of roles. And if you're very, very good at your job, there could be opportunities to move up in the organization. And then make sure you're enthusiastic in your answer. They like that. You've got to be really positive and enthusiastic because if that comes across, it's going to help you. So let's look at some things you could say. So be clear that this is the best Carnival brand for me. And by that, I mean the Carnival Corporation has lots of brands, but the Carnival Cruise Line is the right one. If you are watching this video and you're applying to a different Carnival Corporation brand, for example, if you're applying to Cunard and you've worked in a five-star hotel, that might be the best brand for you. So you need to adapt it and explain why this is definitely the right brand. You could say that you love being at sea if you've got experience of doing that. You could say that you love working with customers. That's just a nice, pleasant thing to say. That you enjoy meeting lots of new people because you will do that all the time. That you love providing excellent customer service and that you're very good at it. You could say that it's a perfect match for your skills. Just say that and then explain why. Talk about what skills you have and how it matches. Then you could say that you've got extensive customer service experience or extensive cruise line experience. That you want an active and a busy job. Remember that thing I said about this not being a holiday? This is the complete opposite, saying that you know that you're going to be busy and it's a very active, hard job and you like that. That you like working in teams. A cruise ship cannot be run by one person. It would be a disaster. You've got to have lots of teams and they've got to work together. You maybe see this as a long-term potential career, that you want to work on cruise ships for a long time and you want to move up and you're quite ambitious and you see that on a large organization, you're going to have those opportunities. So what I would do is I would definitely have this bullet pointed. So you have bullet points about, I want to work at Carnival Cruise Lines because, and then have maybe five or six bullet points and be ready with that. Because they're going to ask this question. If you have thought about the answer, you're going to be so much more confident and your answer is going to be so much better. Another one that is really common is how would you deal with an upset or angry customer? And they want to see the right answer here. So I'm going to give you the characteristics of a really great answer. So the first thing is you reassure them. You say you'll always remain calm and you would never argue back. Then you say that you would actively listen and gain an understanding of the issue. You're not going to be able to solve that customer's anger or the customer's upset if you don't understand what the problem is. So the first thing you're going to do 
is listen. Quite often when a customer presents to you angry, they are often just wanting someone to listen to them and take their complaint seriously. And if you show that you're doing that, it does often go a long way. Then apologize for anything that went wrong and you will issue a sincere apology once you see that there is an issue. You're gonna de-escalate the situation so you're not gonna do anything to make it worse. Your goal is to calm the situation down and get it under control. You then say, I will, of course, always follow Carnival policies and my training. So just reassure them that you're gonna follow the company's policies. And then the final thing to wrap it up is that your goal is to resolve the cause of the anger or upset to the client's satisfaction. You are aiming to take that angry and upset customer, solve the problem that is presented and restore positive relationships and that Carnival is actually providing the service that they actually were looking for. So that is how you successfully answer the question. It's all about reassuring them that you're gonna do the right thing. And then before the, que the interview ends, you need to have some questions ready. So they may ask at the end, and usually they do, do you have any questions for us? And the answer to that has to be yes. And you need to have thought of and decided on two to three questions that you could ask them. And I'm gonna give you five suggestions and you can pick from these which ones you'd most like to ask. So one you could say is in your experience, what have you enjoyed most about working for Carnival Cruise Lines? And when they say, I love this bit and I love this bit, you can agree with them, share in their enthusiasm and link that to part of the reason why you want to work there. You could ask what training and progression opportunities do you see for my role over the next three to five years? And when they talk about typical career paths and opportunities, you could show an enthusiasm and an interest in that. But remember the people interviewing you may in fact be those people that could actually provide those opportunities. So now is a good time to have those conversations. The next thing you could ask is, is there anything you would suggest a new hire do before starting in order to be well prepared for starting work in the cruise industry? And they went, then when they suggest things that you could do, make a commitment to doing those things. Show that you care about being well organized and you take your job seriously. You could also say, I am very interested in the position with Carnival. I would therefore be interested to know the next steps in your hiring process. You probably want to know that, so you may want to ask it. And then at the end, thank the interviewer for their time and end on a positive. Don't try and negotiate your salary. Don't ask about delaying your start date. Don't ask about holidays and time off or anything that will come across negatively. So I would appreciate if you post in the comments below what questions Carnival asks in your interviews. Like and subscribe. I wish you the best of luck in your Carnival Cruise Line interview. And finally, thank you very much for watching.